Hello, welcome to another Jason Chats. This time I'm actually coming from somewhere. And I'm not that I didn't come from somewhere before. I don't say, yeah, your mum's room. Um, her <laughs> room. I'm actually in lieu. In lieu of what? No, in lieu. Uh, I was here the other day, but I didn't take no videos or pictures. So I took some pictures. Now I'm going to show you the view. All right. So I'm going to turn it round. How do I turn it round? Oh. Oh. I wanted to turn it round so you could see the other side. It's not allowing me to. All right. Well, I'll do it the other way. I'm just going to flip the camera so you can see. This is the view from the hotel that we're looking at. So this is there, look, look at that. I'm just trying to move and trying to cover it all because I can't see what I'm looking at. get quite a good view. All those trees. Look at that tree there. Big old tree there. And then all that's Lou over there with all the with all the hotels and of course you've got the the sea. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. If you can see the sea. So I don't, hopefully you got a good view. What, what I might do is do another video where hopefully I can just film that, if that makes sense. So yeah, we're just looking at, well, I'm not looking, but my friends are looking at a hotel. Um, it's a really nice hotel on the outside. I've not seen the inside, but I looked through the windows, had a little peek. It's lovely. So uh, look. Nipple. No. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I caught the sun a little bit. You might be saying, yeah, but your face is always red. I know. But my my arms, look. I don't know if you can see. My arms have caught a bit of, bit of red. Bit of the red. I don't know if you can see that. So, yeah, just... Uh, quite nice it's a lovely day it's cloudy but it's sunny and I'd love to live here I don't know why all the other places I've looked at didn't not so much they're lovely but so far away from anything but here in Lou you know um, there's a potential of moving here you know it's up in the air but it's potential um, but it's nice it's a nice area it's nice it's just nice you know what I mean um, so yeah <laughs> yeah so there we are I could have gone into the hotel but I just left my friends to because they're here for business so I don't really want to interrupt or say something silly which I tend to do you know it's a serious serious business serious business looking at purchasing a hotel so i don't want to um ruin that by coming out with something to be fair all i want to talk about is faulty towers i could end up doing like basil faulty impression you know or his wife basil you know that kind of stuff although they've probably just heard me say that and thinking he's taking the piss out of us but i'm not as it, I, I see, I can't help myself, I just want to do it again. Basil! So I'm going to just walk down here. Uh, in fact, if I walk down there, I could probably get you a better picture. A better scenery. Um, so follow me, fan club. All oh, my arms, I must be getting really weak in my old age. Mobile phones aren't exactly heavy. And it's, oh look, yeah, this is more. 
Here's the river, have a look at this. It's not a river, it is a sea. But it's just, um... look at that, it's lovely, isn't it? If you look at it, I don't know if you can get to it, but it's like a little beach. I don't know if it's, um, it's travelable to, because it's right, you know, it's not a lot of it. But if you could get a deck chair there, it's another, it's like a different view from here. See? It's beautiful, isn't it? The good thing about this place is, compared to the other hotels that was looked at yesterday, huge steps to get up to them, tiny little roads to get to the hotels and it was piss it basically it was annoying <laughs> pissing them off it was annoying both the pedestrians and the drivers i could see so the pedestrians a lot of whom would be holiday makers were having to keep going to the edge of the road and you know avoid the traffic most of the drivers are probably holiday makers as well so the holiday makers were getting in the way of the holiday makers and for me, that doesn't make a very enjoyable holiday if you keep having to do that. So here, it's not like that. Uh, some of the roads seem to be pedestrianized or at least the pedestrians have taken them over, which is good. Uh, Cause we were here on um, Sunday in Lou and we had a look around. Uh, I asked to say, can we have a little more, bit, bit more of a wander around today? while we're here but it's lovely the roads are bigger so if you look at this road this is the road leading up now it's you see it's big it's big enough for two cars one car either way which is what you need it's quite steep however if you're um uh physically uh, I know what you want to call it. Let's say if you're in a wheelchair or if you if you struggle walking or you can't do steps. Once you're up here, there's no steps. I guess there's steps to get to the upstairs, but I don't know if they've got rooms downstairs. I don't know. I think there's 10 rooms in this hotel, which doesn't seem like a lot. Uh, but I think they're all like en suite. So I'll give you a look. It's, it's the hotel there. See? Big old thing. <laughs> Reminds me of the children's home I lived in. Ow! <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, this is really nice. There's that tree a bit closer. Look. Look at that. I don't know what kind of tree that is. It's on its own, just standing there on its own. There's a harbour down there, so I don't know what's quite... Um, so we was down there earlier on Sunday, this is a harbour and I think all the other stuff up there is probably hotels and stuff like that so yeah I think it's nice I don't even swim but I could even the water's blue I don't know if you can see that look, the water's blue The only way you get blue water in Essex is if you put pour blue paint in it. Wow, it's lovely. So, I better go back up. There's other places around it. I don't know if it's connected to the hotel or not. I don't know. But, so even there, look. Ooh, so much greenery. Look. That's a hotel. So yeah, that's why I just uh, give you a little glimpse of what I'm doing today. <sighs> Couldn't do this live because there is no mobile connection or cell phone connection at all. Zero. I don't understand it. 
I really don't. I don't get it. I don't understand. How can it be? I mean, Cornwall is one of the most, it's like a hugely popular place to go on holiday. You need a mobile phone connection because they're just, even like just on, everything's like online nowadays, isn't it? Online banking, uh, but not even that, I can't make a phone call. You want to still keep in contact with people, I guess. I don't, but I'm sure some people do. Like if you've got family at home and like my friend's dad's in hospital, she's going to want to phone him. She can't phone him until she gets back to a place where the reception's back. So yeah, that's very strange. I don't quite understand that. But it's lovely. And it doesn't feel like it's in the middle of nowhere now. Like the others did a little bit. And where I've been staying has this. You can see that there's life down there. Like just down there, there's things. You know, it's probably maybe, it might be a 20 minute walk. But unlike where I live at the moment, a 20 minute walk is walking with lorries going past me the whole time and cars and it's just not a nice walk here it's scenic you can't look you can't get any more scenic than that that's as scenic as you get that is scenic that's the the meaning of the word isn't it it's, it's beautiful i'm not saying there's no there's loads of places that are beautiful but i know some of you might be thinking Stop turning the camera around. We want to look at you. You're the beautiful one. I know. I know that. I know. Look. Oh. Bosoms. So, um, really, that's it. I'll try and upload this video later on. I was just bored. I'm sitting there. I'm standing out here. I had the dog. Daisy. I had the little doggy. And, um, I was outside and I think one of the, the lady, I think the manageress or the manager, whatever, she came out and said, oh, you're so lovely. And uh, she said, oh, the dog can come in. And she said she invited me in as well. But I thought I better just stay outside for the well-being of all involved. Stay away. Because then I live, I live another day to play. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't want to piss off the, I mean, I'm just, I've come on holiday with them. I don't want to piss them off. Probably too late for that. I did say to my friend, I said, I think after this holiday, I think we're going to need a, to have a little break for a couple of years. You know, contact each other in a couple of years and see how things are. It's, <laughs> she thought it was funny, but she didn't realise I was being serious. Uh, oh, I've just seen a little, um, not a windmill, those things that turn around to, the, to create electric or whatever. Wind, it's not a wind farm. It's, well, it might be a wind farm, but I can only see one. I mean, you know, if you go to a field, and there's just one potato growing. That's not a farm, is it? It's not, a f or one chicken is not a farm. So I don't know if it's actually a wind farm or it's just one off. Because it is quite windy over here. Um... But again, it's, the thing is, it rains, but then if it didn't rain, you wouldn't have all this lush greenery. You know, there's a reason why it's so beautiful here. If it did, you have to have rain for that. Um, so, can't really moan about it. It's, it's lovely. And that's all year round. Even if it's raining in the winter, you're still going to have the beautiful scenery. Even when it's cold. And when it's sunny, like it is now, it's beautiful. And you know what I was thinking? I'm going right off into a tangent here. If they buy this hotel, I could, in the off season, because they're only going to run it for six, only going to open it six months a year. In the off season, I could hold hypnosis sessions here. Not one-on-one, not -on -one, but parties like groups of 10 to come here maybe for the weekend, maybe for the week. You come from all over the world, come along, and we do like a, a, you know, group 
group have it like a um like a, a relaxation weekend where i do hypnosis with you i do relaxation sessions with you every day do some other stuff maybe get other people in to do stuff as well get some massage therapists in so you can have a massage every day um you know that kind of stuff so have it as a really really lovely relaxing weekend or a week even so that's something that I've, I've been thinking about while I'm outside here they'll probably come out and say we don't like it we don't like it at all but I hope not because it's lovely I want to buy it off them I haven't even bought it and I want to buy it off them and I only have 79 pence in the bank so I don't know how that's going to work got to think big though got to think big baby I just like that idea of having living somewhere nice and then be able to do what I do continue the podcast continue the videos on YouTube grow that as it's growing and let that grow naturally and and then just invite people or open it up to people only 10 at a time to come here come to a beautiful place and it's a beautiful hotel beautiful place beautiful scenery and have a nice relaxing week or weekend however it works out and having one what well is although it'd be in a group it'll be one on it kind of one on one isn't it it'll be a lot different from listening to a podcast to actually be in the room with me waffling on <laughs> about nothing but doing hypnosis with 10 of you you know every day maybe for a few hours do like a couple of days of solid work although i don't think work who wants to work though yeah so make it fun and that's another thing it has to be fun if it ain't fun there's no point I'm too old to do stuff if it ain't fun. 50, after 50, you've got to make life fun if you can. So I would also try and make it fun for others that came. It could be really good, have people from all over America. Some of you kind of met each other online through me, uh, got to know each other a bit. You can meet each other in real life. So instead of moving, traveling from America to Australia or to see, you could just all come here and meet each other and form lifelong friendships. Yeah. I'm well ahead of myself here, aren't I? But hey, why not? Why not? There's nothing wrong. Because it's positive, isn't it? It's positive thinking, thinking about positive things. Instead of thinking, oh, everything's going to be crap. <laughs> Easy to do that. But at the end of it, they both, they both might be rubbish, might but completely be um, delusional. But at least at the end of the first one, the positivity, you feel good. Even if it is pie in the sky, possibly never going to happen. At least you feel nice. You feel good about it. So I say dream. Why not dream? Why not dream big, baby? Dream big. So that's how I am thinking. But yeah, anyway, the scenery's beautiful, as you've seen. Uh, I took some pictures. I'll post that on my Facebook page probably later when I get home. Well, not home, but back to the place. The, ho the, the pub has 16 gigabytes. So, and I've I managed, surprisingly, managed to get two bars on my iPad this morning. So I was, I was <laughs> able to record a Let Me Boy To Sleep podcast. And it's about half hour, 40 minutes long. And I uploaded it. The five hour one was in the process of uploading when I had to come out. And the battery was nearly run out on that, so I left it. It might not have finished, but if, if it hasn't, I'll just redo it tonight. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll do perhaps another one tonight. Uh, just to sort of talk about what's happened today. Uh, I can't do any hypnosis recordings because it's not, it's not quiet enough. 
you know there's just cars going past not here but quite where i am at the moment back there it's too many cars there's dog, dogs barking people talking it's not noisy at all but it's a bit too much noise if you know too much sound uh, i like it to be as quiet as possible when i do hypnosis sessions but the let me boy to sleep i don't mind having a little bit of a little bit of you know activity in the background just a little bit not a huge amount but like with andre that was nice and now daisy like have a little bit of a bark and a little bit of a play um and even a pert like my friend dean sort of saying something i don't mind that because you kind of know what you're getting really when you start listening you know what you, you know what's gonna possibly could happen because i'm on holiday you know there might be other people around but most of the time it's just me isn't it just me talking in me living room in me in me flat on my own with not a lot else happening looking at the window <laughs> you know what i mean look this is to be able to do to have this scene scenery it's beautiful and it's lovely even though over there it's just buildings you know but the way it's like um layered there's a group of buildings there then there's some higher up and they look like hotels they might not be hotels but they look like kind of hotel area and i think there are a lot of hotels here there are in fact there are a lot um it's lovely there's even someone on a motorboat or i think so i think it's a motorbike motorbike or motorboat on the water it's too far to get a, a picture of it because my eyesight is just too damn good man it, no no not at all no but uh yeah if nothing else this would be my favorite part of the holiday so far just standing here actually standing here looking at a lovely hotel and then looking at all this scenery um i guess i had a good night's sleep last night i was in bed quarter past nine till six and i went back for another couple of hours so i had a lot a lot of time in bed yeah i'm feeling better than i was a bit stressed the first couple of days i think of i think it took a few days for me to unwind i think i'm feeling less stressed now than i did don't know why it's weird i want to go with it my back hurts but hey i kind of don't care it's weird but that's just because i think of the traveling being stuck in one position for many hours every day because we've been traveling every day and um, today i think the thing i liked about today is we didn't start till late we didn't leave till half 11. so it's, it was nice it gave me time to make a podcast upload the podcast to take time had a shower there's no rushing around um and everyone seems a bit more relaxed today and i like that 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 appeals to me that's more because the last few days has been hectic hasn't been relaxing um but now i feel yeah i'm feeling relaxed i'm feeling cool plus it's sunny and i've got my little got my boobies out i um, got like short sleeve shirt on changed my underpants that always helps you know sometimes it's, <laughs> it's all you need in life fresh kegs uh i washed yeah i washed my balls as well so yeah everything's gone gone quite to plan um i didn't include that in my plan but i did it anyway because they needed it um, so yeah, it's, yeah, today's the good day. It's, well, we've been here since sun, since Saturday. We didn't get here till Saturday evening, so that was kind of the day gone. Sunday was all right, but it was, I felt still quite stressed. S Monday, um, yeah, I didn't really enjoy yesterday at all. We were traveling around, we got stuck in one place, couldn't get out of it. 
just the sat nav wasn't working properly. Kept sending us around in a circle. Uh, everyone was arguing. Um, saw two hotels, and just yeah, it's just wasn't a particularly enjoyable day really. But today it just feels more relaxed. So maybe we're all relaxing. Maybe everyone's getting a bit de-stressed a bit. Perhaps it does take a while. I don't know. I haven't been on holiday since last time I went anywhere was I think 2004. And to be honest, it went away long enough to get de-stressed for me. So, because we got there, we're only there for three days, I think, four days. So this is a whole week. Uh, we've still got two more days left. And my friend's talking about seeing if we can get book it for another night. Maybe stay for another day. And I'm actually up for that. If she, if she just said that yesterday, I'd have, I'd have been annoyed. Like, no, I want to get, I want to leave now. But I'm more relaxed. More calmer. Uh, getting used to sleeping in the bed. The only thing that I'm struggling with is uh, nothing to do like in the evenings. I went to the pub, there's nothing, there's, it is zero atmosphere in there. There's people eating mainly and just, there's nothing really happening. Um, that was quite difficult because I'd happily walk for half an hour to get somewhere else, to go somewhere, but there's nothing in distance, within walking distance. So, I don't want to watch telly, but based on the internet being on today, if it has if it's improved like it has done, if, it's, if it keeps improved, I can actually get some work done tonight. So I'll sit outside at the table and I will probably make another podcast, do some, just do some work that needs to be done on the podcast and on my website um, while listening to some music. I'm happy. That's good. It means I'm getting something done. I'm, you know, because uh, that's what I'm happy doing. I like doing that stuff. What was that? What's that? Obviously, it's a plane, isn't it? What is it? We're flying peanut butter uh, jam jar. No, it's a plane. I'm getting excited about a plane. So yeah. Um, Really, that's it. I got nothing more to say. I never did. I started off with nothing to say and I'm ending with nothing to say. And but I've been talking for 27 minutes. That's good. So I plan, when I get back, I've realised that how much I've missed doing what I do. Even though it's only been a few days. And how much I kind of enjoyed being able to do it today. So maybe doing this stuff actually helps to de-stress me. Maybe. I don't know. I think the journey up here was stressful. Well, it was for everyone. It was such a long journey. And... Yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't pleasant. But how can a seven-hour uh, car journey be pleasant, really? I don't know how you could do that unless you've got... Unless the seats like tickle you or something to, to cheer you up, I don't know. <laughs> what you know? I don't know what. What can you do? The seat belts tell you jokes. I don't know what. What can you do to improve a car journey, except be in a bigger car where your legs can stretch out. Um, and that's who has cars like that, you know. For four people, you need a big, big, big car, like a limousine or something for that with a TV in the back and a cocktail bar, cocktail bar. Um, although I don't really drink co um, cocktails. Um, I'm not, I've got nothing against cocktails. Cocktails, all right. But I think, um, like I've not been able to drink alcohol for two years really, just can't, can't. On my birthday, I bought eight cans of lager to, to drink with my friend, like celebrate my 50th birthday. Because coronavirus was on and 
couldn't visit anyone or couldn't, you know, all that stuff. Otherwise, I'm sure my dad was going to celebrate and show, throw me a 50th birthday party. But nothing, couldn't go, couldn't do anything. So we got eight cans, I got eight cans of lager. We owned one each. Happy birthday to me. Uh, I think he said, oh, shut up. <laughs> Stop going on about, I've been talking about my 50th birthday. In fact, I've been talking about being 50 for about a year, even though I didn't turn 50 till August. How old are you? I'm 50. No, you're not 50, are you? No, I'm not 50, but I'm nearly 50. Yeah, but you're not 50, though, are you? No, but I'm nearly 50. You don't do that at any other age, do you? Maybe 40, maybe 30. At 30, you probably don't mention it. But no one's like, yeah, I'm nearly eight. Or not necessarily, yeah, I'm eight. But you're seven. Yeah, but I'm eight, really, aren't I? I'm eight, really. No, you're not, you're seven. No, nah, but I am eight. You know, it's only another nine months. In it. So, um, that's how I used to speak back then. Swear down. Uh, so, yeah, I, all my days. <sighs> so, I was drinking these four cans. So, I, I couldn't even drink half a can of lager before I just I didn't chuck them in but I said take them go <laughs> get out of my sight I said you might as well take them I don't want to watch you drink them but just take the cans go and just drink them so he he had his can and he had the other seven no six the other six cans I said you might as well take them with you mate I come not can't drink them two nights ago going to the pub a pint necked it down lovely Last night, had another pint. Nick, well, I didn't, I didn't drink it all the way down, but I loved it. Drunk it, didn't take long. Had my dinner, went to bed, got bored, went out again. Because it was like half seven in the evening or eight o'clock. So I went, went back down to the pub. They were gonna close about nine o'clock, so I just had another pint, drunk it, loved it, lovely. So somehow, <laughs> My aversion to alcohol has ended, but I don't want to drink alcohol in the house. I don't want to sit watching television drinking lager. I don't want to do that. I did years of that. I don't want to do that anymore. I'd rather do it for some reason being out. It was nicer. You know, sitting outside the pub or sitting in a pub, whichever. It's nicer just drinking a pint of lager. Um, I don't do strong alcohol like you know whiskey or anything like that doesn't mix with the crack no i don't um i, I just drink um lager fosters i was drinking this fosters is kind of it's not weak but it's not particularly strong it's just a kind of medium medium strength lager and it's nice and i was just weird the only thing that i did notice is i was uh it got me bladder working <laughs> I got up a few times during the night, more than I would normally. And every time you get up here, Daisy barks because she's not used to having activity in the house where she lives. She lives with her mum and dad, and that's it. So she's got two other people living there, getting up and going to the toilet, me and um, her mum. So she's like, ruff, 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 ruff. that's my impression of her barking. And, uh, but as soon, I think it wakes her up, and as soon as she she can smell, because dogs can smell each person, can't they? they know who's who, so she could smell, especially me, because I'm I'm proper smelly. Um, and even if you had no, if even if you thought, well, I'd like to meet you, and I hear you're smelly, but I've got no sense of smell, so be fine. No, you'll still think, oh God, he stinks, even with no sense of smell, like oh. So uh, that's why I try and stick to just videos. So I am single, by the way, if anyone's, uh, if any ladies out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I really sold myself, don't I? Um... <laughs> oh God. Uh... No, I've got my normal, I've got, I've got all this stuff to say, I won't say anymore. So I um, 
Yeah, I'm feeling more relaxed today, and that's good. The first time since I've been here that I've felt calm. I feel calm, baby. I feel, I suppose I feel how I want to feel, how I'd like, if I wanted to feel any way, this is kind of how I'd like to feel, mentally, emotionally, quite peaceful. You know, just, you know what I mean? <laughs> not fuzzy, not wired, not not angry, not anything. Just, yeah, man, just cool. And I like that feeling. I don't have it that often. Um, and I think maybe making the podcast this morning really helped because I enjoy doing it. And... I think that shows, I hope it shows, uh, I don't think um, I generally, it shows like it's a chore, it's not a chore to do what I do and you know, I'll earn a living out of it eventually and what better way to earn a living but to do something you love doing and if you can help people at the same time, it, what could be better? So if you're a nurse, I'm not comparing myself to a nurse, by the way, but if you if you become a nurse or a doctor and you love being a nurse or a doctor, that's got the best, or a firefighter or some, you know, a paramedic, something, uh, a job that helps people and you love doing it and you get paid and you earn a living, a decent living, if hopefully, what could be better? That's like the perfect life, isn't it? Providing you, you're not, not in debt and you've not got lots of other horrible things happening in life. Although horrible things happen to everyone at times, but that's the perfect, almost the perfect life, isn't it? Providing, I guess, you live in somewhere you want to live. So I suppose if you're doing the job you love, in a place you don't like, then I guess it could be less enjoyable than it perhaps would be if you were somewhere that you love being. I mean, a benefit of for me, for the future, is because everything I do is online. So I don't need to be in any specific place. You know, I don't work in an office for a company that... I don't have to live in Wales, or I don't have to live in Brentwood, I don't have to live in London, I don't, you know, I'm not stuck in a specific place. I know some companies, you can travel to a different part of the country, or the world even, if they've got lots of branches and stuff. But I'm literally, there's no limit to where I can be. If I wanted to go and move to Thailand, providing I do everything correctly, you know, above board and that, uh, I could do that and go and rent a place. Be, be a bit concerned about the internet, to be fair. I mean, if I can't get internet here, how am I going to get it in Thailand? So that would be a question. But as long as I've got internet, I can have a really good lifestyle, you know? And doing what I love, helping people, doing this, which I enjoy doing. And in the process, earning a living. I mean, come on, man. What could be better than that? Nothing. Having a bigger penis would probably be better, but, you know, obviously I can't do much about that. Um, I always have to go back to that, don't I? I always have to bring it back down to toilet humour. Yep, that's me. I look like I've got a big fat face, don't I? Does my face look really chubby? Oh, I'm funny, Jason. You realise you could turn my head upside down and I'd look the same. Isn't that weird? So, yeah, things are good. It's really weird. Just as I'm saying this, it started to get... Well, the sun's definitely been covered up. <laughs> it's probably going to start raining. And it's definitely cooled down, the temperature. Just in this half hour that I've been talking... I mean, wow. Wowzers, man. You can see the trees are starting to get excited. It's going to rain. 
the trees have started to open their mouths. Give me some rain. Greedy trees. That's the thing about Cornish trees. They're very greedy. That's why all the clouds come to them. They all get together. I reckon they just hypnotise the clouds to come to them. and Or oh, do it in my mouth. Again, that's a weird, but you know, rain. All that golden rain. Mmm. It's definitely, I feel, I, you can feel the air is good. I mean, how could it not be? All those trees, the oxygen level, the oxygen within the oxygen, because <laughs> the oxygen within the oxygen is a small, it's not very high, generally, apparently. So the air, the oxygen in the air, I would say must be a lot higher here than what it is where I live. I can feel it as I breathe in. It feels like, I don't know, just feels clearer, feels nicer, feels fresher. And I reckon even in the winter, it'll be cold, but the air will be fresh. And that's part of being near the sea, I guess. But there's no beach here. There's no bloody beach. Unless that is the beach, that's it. There's no beach. Uh, I love the beach, but you know what? It's not the end of the world because there are beaches around. So it's probably just a bus journey or, you know, a short car journey to a beach. Is it Whitley Bay or something that's close by? So there are beaches. It's just this isn't a beach. But it's still lovely, you know? It's still nice. And I think lush is the correct word for this. This is lush. It's lush greenery. And the oxygen, the the air is clean. Um, and the water, as I said, is blue. Yeah, I've run out of things to say. Actually, I ran out of things to say 15 minutes ago, but I continued anyway. Because I'm a trooper. I'm very dedicated and professional. Yes. Oh. So that's it. I'm gonna go. They should be leaving the building at some point. So um, I'm gonna go take care. I'll upload this later today. I'll share it on Facebook. And that's it. So remember to be kind to yourselves because you deserve to be happy. Do something nice for yourself today. Whatever it is, doesn't have to cost money. Do something nice. Treat yourself. Give yourself a, a pleasant experience. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.